What do when calls the heart stars think of their vintage costumes? Welcome to my channel, Hallmark's Gossip 24, where you can get news about. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow, and I am your buddy. Now let's get started. The when calls the heart cast has to wear costumes from the early 1900s. What do they think of their vintage attire? You may be surprised by their answers. When calls the heart gentlemen talk about their vintage look costumes. In the When Calls, the Heart on Location video, entitled Vintage Style, cast members share their feelings about what they wear in the Hallmark series. Kicking off is Jack Wagner, who portrays Bill Avery. He has been on soaps like General Hospital, Bold, and The Beautiful, and Melrose Place. Jack was on MTV in the 80s. He is the real rock star of the cast, and perhaps could be voted as the guy most likely to wear leather pants and a headband. What does he think of wearing his turn of the 20th century suit? His answer may surprise Hardy's. Kevin McGarry, who portrays Nathan, doesn't think he is the right guy to answer this question. I'd really the wrong person to talk to because I usually only wear the red serge. Then he points to the elegant blue suit that he is wearing and says, this is one of the few times Nathan gets to like put on a suit. The modern women of Hope Valley. British-born Natasha Burnett revealed in her beautiful accent that her physical appearance changes when she puts on her mini Canfield attire. I do actually enjoy wearing costumes that require me to sit up straight. It is of no surprise that Dr. Faith Carter has a practical reason for her more comfortable attire. Andrea Brooks explained the decision behind why her character doesn't wear a certain undergarment. In a separate interview, Kayla Wallace discussed Fiona Miller's undergarments as well. Speaking to the Hallmark Happenings podcast, Kayla declared that she has never had to wear a corset on the show. However, she is very sympathetic to the actors who do wear them. She said, I don't know how some of these girls do it. It is somewhat uncomfortable. Although she contends that corsets do give women the look of the time. Barbara, her costume person, never wanted Fiona to wear a corset. That is because she is a modern woman. While the idea to wear or not to wear a corset has been the hot topic, Pascal Hutton, who portrays Rosemary Coulter, has other issues. Moreover, her television husband, Kevin Smith, who plays Leland Coulter, explained her constant wardrobe malfunction. Her shoes, the laces never stay up. Pascal then smiles, yeah, like a real-life married couple. Kevin continues, guess who ties the laces all the time? Pascal finishes his sentence, Kevin ties my laces. Who knew that turn of the century laces were such a major problem? When calls a hearts, Chris McNally shares his delight. Lastly, Christopher McNally looks dapper portraying Lucas Bouchard. Moreover, he seems to relish feeling like he is part of this world. Don't miss when calls the heart season nine currently airing on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel. When Calls the Heart is a beloved series that transports viewers to the early 20th century town of Hope Valley. A significant part of the show's charm lies in its meticulous attention to period details, especially the vintage costumes that bring the era to life. These costumes are more than just clothes. They are characters in their own right, telling stories and adding depth to the narrative. The stars of When Calls the Heart have often expressed their admiration and appreciation for the show's wardrobe. These costumes not only help them get into character, but also offer a unique glimpse into the fashion and lifestyle of the time. Let's delve into what the cast thinks about their vintage costumes and how these outfits contribute to the magic of Hope Valley. Elizabeth Thornton, portrayed by Erin Krakow, is the heart and soul of Hope Valley. As a schoolteacher, her wardrobe reflects both her professional role and her personal style. Elizabeth's costumes are often characterized by high-neck blouses, long skirts, and delicate accessories, embodying the elegance and modesty of the early 1900s. Erin Krakow has shared her thoughts on wearing these vintage costumes. The costumes on When Calls the Heart are incredibly detailed and beautiful. They really help me step into Elizabeth's shoes and feel like I'm a part of that time period. The high neck blouses and long skirts make me stand a little straighter and carry myself differently, which is essential for getting into character. Elizabeth's wardrobe also evolves with her character, reflecting her journey from a new teacher to a beloved member of the community. The costumes help illustrate her growth, both personally and professionally, adding layers to her character's story.
Lucas Bouchard, played by Chris McNally, is known for his sophisticated and stylish attire. As the charming saloon owner, Lucas's wardrobe includes tailored suits, waistcoats, and bow ties, which perfectly capture his polished and suave demeanor. Chris McNally has often praised the show's costume designers for their attention to detail. Wearing Lucas's suits makes me feel like a true gentleman of the early 1900s. The clothes are tailored to fit perfectly, and every piece feels authentic to the period. It's fascinating to see how much effort goes into creating these looks, and it definitely helps me embody Lucas's character. Lucas's sophisticated style sets him apart in Hope Valley, highlighting his background and adding to his allure. The costumes not only define his character, but also create a visual contrast with the more rugged and practical attire of other male characters. Rosemary Coulter, portrayed by Pascal Hutton, is known for her vibrant and flamboyant fashion sense. As a former actress, Rosemary brings a touch of glamour to Hope Valley with her bold colors, elaborate hats, and intricate accessories. Pascal Hutton has expressed her delight in wearing Rosemary's costumes. Rosemary's outfits are so much fun to wear. They are bold, colorful, and full of personality, just like her character. The hats, in particular, are a favorite of mine. They add an extra flair to her look and make her stand out in every scene. Rosemary's costumes reflect her lively and spirited nature, making her a memorable and beloved character. The vibrant ensembles also provide a visual feast for the audience, showcasing the diversity of fashion in the early 20th century. Nathan Grant, played by Kevin McGarry, is Hope Valley's dedicated Mountie. His uniform is a symbol of duty, honor, and protection, and it plays a significant role in defining his character. The red serge jacket with its brass buttons and Sam Brown belt is both iconic and authoritative. Kevin McGarry has spoken about the impact of wearing Nathan's uniform. Putting on the Mountie uniform is a powerful experience. It immediately makes you stand taller and feel a sense of responsibility. The uniform is such an iconic part of Canadian history, and it's an honor to wear it on the show. It definitely helps me connect with Nathan's sense of duty and commitment to protecting Holt Valley. Nathan's rugged and disciplined appearance is a stark contrast to Lucas's polished style, highlighting the diverse male characters in the show. The uniform not only defines Nathan's role, but also adds to the authenticity of the period setting. Abigail Stanton, portrayed by Lori Laughlin, is a cornerstone of Hope Valley. As a businesswoman and community leader, her wardrobe reflects practicality and elegance. Abigail's costumes include simple yet stylish dresses, aprons, and shawls that convey her hardworking nature and refined taste. Lori Laughlin has shared her appreciation for Abigail's costumes. Abigail's wardrobe is a perfect blend of practicality and elegance. The costumes are beautifully made and really capture the essence of her character. Wearing them helps me step into Abigail's shoes and feel connected to her strength and resilience. Abigail's practical yet elegant attire underscores her role as a leader and caretaker in Hope Valley. The costumes enhance her character's presence and contribute to the show's overall aesthetic. Carson Shepard, played by Paul Green, is Hope Valley's dedicated doctor. His wardrobe consists of professional attire, including tailored suits, vests, and doctor's coats. Carson's costumes reflect his medical profession and his commitment to caring for the community. Paul Green has commented on the importance of his character's attire. Carson's wardrobe is essential for portraying his professionalism and dedication. The doctor's coat, in particular, is a significant part of his identity. Wearing it reminds me of the responsibility and compassion that comes with the role. Carson's professional attire not only defines his character, but also adds to the authenticity of the show's portrayal of early 20th century life. The costumes help convey his expertise and the trust the community places in him. Florence Blakely, portrayed by Loretta Walsh, is known for her modest and practical fashion sense. As a dedicated switchboard operator and a loyal friend, Florence's wardrobe includes simple dresses, aprons, and modest accessories. Loretta Walsh has shared her thoughts on Florence's costumes. Florence's outfits are modest and practical, which is perfect for her character. The costumes help me get into her mindset and understand her role in the community. They may not be as flashy as some of the other characters' costumes, but they are just as important in conveying who Florence is.